to my channel and if you guys are new here welcome 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 i am so blessed to have you here thank you for tuning in and for my old crew um thank you for rocking with your girl and just staying with me i am so blessed and so happy to be over a thousand subscribers and your love and likes and you know being subscribed to my channel means more to me than you know so let's get into this video okay um i haven't done a hair video in a long time and i wanted to you know do a little um something different with this hair video i'm gonna talk about my curls i'm gonna talk about certain um hairstyles that can damage you know our hair um what the seasons can do to our hair um different the, all the, the four seasons i live in a state that um has all the four seasons we live in michigan so um but yeah i haven't done a hair video in a long time and my last hair video too well and i was talking about how i silk pressed my hair for the first time y'all i silk pressed my hair for the first time so a lot of people love my curls and um my natural state of my curls so um my hair is naturally curly just like every black person just about that probably never like had a perm i never had a perm in my hair i remember i begged my mom to get me a perm and because i wanted to be like all the other you know little girls on my flat all my friends but she you know you know 10 toes down i was like no and i'm very happy that she did not give me a perm and i'm like okay thank god like so i did maintain my actual natural texture that you see today but i did dye my hair dye and fry my hair over the years in terms of just being in high school and stuff like that so i'm not here to give you tips on how to um give your hair the best care that you can possibly can give and have retention and and length and keep that length so the first thing that i always do in the morning is drink water guys you have to drink water ladies you have to drink water fellas you have to drink water it's just it's just something that you need to do in general to just stay healthy um to have that glowing skin to have that natural um you know just natural glow about yourself drink water that's the first thing that i put in my body when i wake up in the morning then i eat a good healthy balanced breakfast you know with my supplements and my vitamins my vitamin d my vitamin a or what or whatnot so <clears throat> i drink water always drink water that gives your hair just nourishment you know it it it, it provides that natural um shine to your hair um i do not wash my hair every day now i am talking to um this is for my my black girls um because i know we have a different texture from from white women obviously so we we don't necessarily have to wash our hair every day we can actually go we can just actually wash our hair once a month and our hair will, will be fine our hair will be you know still in this healthy state so we i don't wash my hair every day i wash my hair about i'll say three times a month actually and i don't actually wash it just with just shampoo i use a co-wash i use as i am a coconut co-wash and it is amazing guys i co-wash because and i think you guys should co-wash co-washing for provides not only um cleanliness and it it does clarify at the same time despite what you heard but it also provides um conditioning as well it provides conditioning and washing at the same time and with our hair with our scalp we need to um we, we need condition oh my god in the winter months y'all know in the winter months our hair can get very very dry so we need that extra conditioning 
and um, softness in our hair and our, our roots, around our roots, around our ends and our scalp. So um, I just not just didn't do it for the summertime. I do it for the wintertime. I just do, do it for all seasons co-washing now i do clarify i do use a clarifying shampoo every once in a while i don't use clarifying shampoos all the time what that does is strips your natural um your natural condition uh, conditioners in your hair you don't want to do that all the time now if you have buildup from like braids or sew-ins um or lace fronts, then it's good to do that at least once a month. So, but myself, I use a clarifying shampoo probably like every three months. Um, I don't have a lot of build up. The only time I do wear my wigs is I'm doing my anime, as you get my cosplays, and I don't wear those like every like four hours. I wear it for like a few, like a you know, a, a, when I do a video and that's it. So I don't have a lot of build up. Um, I don't get braids, and I'm I'm not against braids per se, but I am against those sister locks. And let me tell you, those locks can get in your hair. While they are beautiful, but if you keep them in for too long, those locks can entangle with your actual own hair. And that's why it's such a pain to like, you know, you don't want to take them out. Like, you, oh, it's time to take them out. But that's why it's such a pain when you actually take them out. Uh, was it hobo locks, um, sister locks? Like I said, while they're beautiful, you don't want to keep them in for a very, very long time. I'll suggest if you really like that look, just actually start the locking process with your natural hair. That's just way better, actually. My mom, she has a long lock. Um, she just locked her, her whole head and it's like down her back. So, um, but it's pretty, it can get heavy as well. So um yeah i don't uh do braids too much but i used to do braids when i was uh, younger but um the only braids i feel like that are pr protective styling is the uh, poetic justice braids the J janet jackson's braids that she had in poetic justice individual individual braids like that and cornrows um i think those are very safe for your hair and um, they, they won't do much damage because they're easy to take out. You can see your hair. You don't have to, you know, you know you're not going to make a mistake and clip your hair or whatnot. And um, when you take them out. So the next thing I do is, like I said, I, I mentioned taking vitamins. I do take vitamins, um, vitamin A, vitamin E, vitamin F, and vitamin D. We need, if you're, if you have a darker complexion like myself, um, we need vitamin D. When it's in the winter months, like it is now, we need vitamin D to sustain our melanin, our melatonin, our melanin, not melatonin, our melanin. And um, it provides that um, healthy, like I said, shine and glow to your hair and your, and your skin, actually. So these are a few products that I use. Um, I use Maui Moisture. Um, Maui Moisture Fizz Control. This is a leave-in conditioner. Leave-in conditioners are great for your hair. I I am highly like I highly recommend leave-in conditioners just for all seasons. I cannot go outside without a leave-in conditioner, and it's a light like I have a light leave-in conditioner. This is pretty light. Maui Moisture. It's um the first ingredient is aloe vera, which I find um very very um condi con conditions your hair very well with it being the first ingredient um i'm just gonna let you know that there was about the, their business with this i really love this mommy moisture so yeah the um read the first five ingredients in your hair care products if you cannot pronounce them toss it eat it if you cannot pronounce them throw it away um the other um product that i use when i want to do just a slip back maybe a ponytail or half up half down um and i don't do i don't do a lot of ponytails and, and, and that's another thing now ponytails are wonderful for if you want to work out or whatever but i just leave my hair down most of the time but i do do a aunt jackie's don't um no shrink 
this a flaxy elongating coral gel. Like, Aunt Jackie, she did her thing with this one. Um, I love this because it, it actually um, is a non-shrinking type of gel. If you have 4 C hair, um, you definitely want to read the, in, the ingredients. Um, but I definitely love, love this stuff. 4 C hair, if you have 4 C hair, this is really good for 4 C hair. Um, to keep that elongated, uh, your curl, your elongated curl. But so back to why I don't use ponytails. Um, a, a lot. Ponytails, like I said, it's good for you know, when I work on everything that's everything like that. So I usually do half up, half down, or just maybe two ponytails. Um, if I'm working out, um, or I just don't want my hair down. And I use scrunchies. Uh, I use scrunchies or because it's something soft and something big, and it won't like tear my hair out and things like that so and i don't put my ponytails too tight the next thing that i use is carol's daughter now this was a godsend this is carol's daughter goddess strength and i know you guys have seen this around on amazon and on youtube we just like this is this is actually this actually works y'all this is a seven oil blend hair and scalp oil for weak damage prone hair um has no petroleum uh, mineral oil or artificial colors and it has castor oil and black cumin seed oil as well i have i make sure i get two bottles of these two bottles of these y'all and um i make sure i don't open i make sure i do not spill it um and this is about 10 bucks um 8.99 if you get a really good deal and this is like I said, this is a godsend. Oil your scalp, um, touch up your ends. If you do a wash and go, make sure you hit your scalp and make sure you hit your ends. Just make a dab on you put a, put a dab on your ends and put it like a dab. Just put you know dab through your curls. Just a dab, just a dab through your curls. I always do like just a dab through your curls. So on your ends. And it's really good for, um, remember it's oil based. So it's really good for those winter months. They're really, really good for those winter months. You don't really need a lot in the summer. Um, cause like, remind you, it is an oil. So just a few dabs and streaks down the, your, your scalp and you are good to go. So these, this is like, a, get these guys. Get this. I feel like um those are um uh, really really great starter things to have like so i i feel let me see um so biotin biotin is a really good thing to use i'm going to stress that i stress that in the other video so i'm going to stress that here biotin shampoo or co-wash or biotin conditioner if you don't want to use the biotin shampoo make sure you have something with biotin in it if it's gel, um, leave-in conditioner, shampoo, whatever, biotin is a really good um, ingredient to have in your hair care products. And I also want to stress, ladies, I know we want silky straight hair sometimes and to change it up. Even I love a good silk press now that I like know how to do my own. However, I just want to encourage you, you know, my sisters out there or my curly hair girls, my curly girls to, you know, love your curls, embrace your curls. There are so many products out there that are good and healthy and natural products that will help you maintain your curls, your natural curls, and just be that beautiful curly girly that you are. So thank you guys for joining me in this hair care video. I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys took those notes. And I wish you well on your curly hair journey and maintain those beautiful locks of curls. Until next time, thank you guys. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Until next time, I love you guys. Bye.